So Beyonce, how did you get involved in World Humanitarian Day? Well, I heard about World Humanitarian Day and I heard this would be the fourth year and I was definitely attracted to raising awareness of this day of recognition. I, you know, found out that 22 people lost their lives helping people. And in Baghdad. In, in Baghdad, yes. And I thought it was such an incredible thing to turn that into something positive and try to include the world into doing something great for someone else. And the song that you're dedicating to this, I Was Here, I mean, what's the message of the song? I Was Here, it says, I want to leave my footprints in the sands of time. And that's leaving our mark on the world. We all want to know that our life meant something and that we did something for someone else and that we spread positivity no matter how big or how small. So the song was perfect for Humanitarian Day. And is that what you want too, to, to spread positivity? Absolutely. I, I feel like we all have our purpose and we all have our strengths. It feels so wonderful to do something for someone else. Valerie, you're trying to reach a billion people on World Humanitarian Day. What are you hoping to accomplish? I mean, what's the idea behind it? Well, there are millions of people around the world who need help. And part of my job is to get the message out there. This is really about saying to everyone that this is a day that's both a commemoration, because there are a lot of people who lose their lives trying to help people, but it's also a celebration of the things that people do. There's an amazing amount that people do every single day that goes unrecognized. People watch the news and they <coughs> see the slaughter in Syria, they mm. see the humanitarian crisis there now, they see what's happening in eastern Congo where millions of people have died o over the years and a lot of times people feel hopeless mm. and, and helpless. Valerie, how do you counteract that? Well that's the whole message that we're trying to get across today. We can make a difference. We can make a difference through a small act. Some people will give some money, that helps too. Some people have a skill that they can donate, some time that they can donate all of that matters and I think it's important to say to people that we're not helpless. Yes, there's a huge amount of suffering in the world. It's very, very painful to see. But one of the things that keeps me going is that every single person I meet, however desperate their situation, they have something that they want to live for and they want us to help them to get back to a normal life. So on August 19th, you're both hoping that people around the world will will do whatever they can, will volunteer in their communities, will donate money, will donate time, whatever it is. Absolutely. We're hoping everyone will go to whdiwashere.org and we want to encourage everyone to pledge their act of kindness. And they can actually put down what they're going to do or what they've done. Absolutely. And I hope it isn't just the 19th yes. of August. I mean, this is about launching a campaign that will live on beyond the 19th of August. And of course, next year on the 19th of August, we can go back and say to people, this is what happened during the year, and hope that they'll pledge for another year. It is inspiring, because I mean, in the wake of Hurricane Katrina, you, uh, you had a foundation which tried to help people the in The Survivor in Foundation. Yeah, and you had food drives in, in yes, one year in, in one of your concerts. And it's amazing, I think in, in New Orleans, to me, the example of what happened after Katrina, and we've seen it in Haiti as well, is the power of individuals stepping up. I mean, so many, church groups and mm -hmm. NGOs and just individuals have gone down to New Orleans and the Gulf Coast to, to lend a hand, to build a house, to do whatever they can. It's yes. really inspiring. It really is. And we built transitional housing for, for a lot of the survivors in Katrina, which I think was important because people need to get on their feet. And it's more than just one day. It's something that, you know, people need help all the time. And I, I feel like one great thing about the video, Hopefully people will see it and it will be a reminder that, you know, every single day, the smallest thing helps. Do you hope to start doing more stuff with the UN overseas, traveling? I would love to do more things with mm -hmm. the UN. I, I'm learning so much and inspired completely. You know, I, I just see women like Valerie and people that dedicate their lives and it makes you want to do more. So where should people go to find out more information about Valerie? WHD, I was here, dot org, and it's all about putting down uh, a pledge, big or small. And they can sign up and, and, and talk about the acts of kindness that they're doing. Over the year, you know, the pin will appear. As people register what they've done, the pin will appear. So you look at the map of the world and all these little pins, I hope, uh, will be flashing up in every single country in the world to demonstrate what ordinary people are doing. That'd be a great legacy for you to be Absolutely. able to look back on. Yes, it will be for everyone. And it makes me really, really proud.